Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Uh, in our community, the 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 the, the STDs and and um, sickness is very high. Right. And why is that? Because we don't follow God's commandment. Right. right. Uh, give me um, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-three, verse seventeen. Listen to that. And guess what? That that is for our own good. If we don't know how to deal with our own community, that's the reason why you have the single house home. Mothers raising sons and daughters by themselves. Right. Why? Because they never spent the time to know who they're dealing with. Right. Read that for me. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, and verse 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. I did not say that. The right. Bible says That's that. That's right. We shouldn't have our sisters acting like a whore. Right. That's not good. Biblically, it's wrong. That's right. If you have value, self-esteem, when a brother approaches you, you already know this is not a sister I want to deal with because she's not going to be about that. She's not going to give it to me. But guess what? You yourself, you got to know what type of girls you shouldn't even be dealing with women right now because you're not ready. How old are you again? 16. You are a young man just learning how your body functions. Right. So the thing that you should be focusing right now is what? Your school. Right. You learn something, you have something you can bring back in your community. Right. How can we raise our community to be better? That girlfriend and boyfriend thing is nothing but garbage. Bring more yeah. STDs in our neighborhood. Right. You wonder why we have so many, so many of us have uh, uh, chlamydia, uh, 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 gonorrhea, uh, AIDS. AIDS. We got to hold ourselves accountable for those things. Right. Dress code is another factor. When you put yourself out there like this, showing yourself to the world, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to want sex from you. Right. Yep. It shouldn't be that. Give me uh, 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 1 Timothy chapter uh, uh, 2 and 9. Yep. And, and, and listen up. I think I've seen you before. Yeah. It's never too old, you're never too young to start learning God's word, man. Right. You're not too young. 16, a lot of us started earlier than that. But if you fear God, knowing that God, uh, uh, if you're hearing what the Bible is saying, you can start hearkening to what God is saying, man. Listen. The book of First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Is that what you see going on around? Is our sisters dressing modestly? No. No, they not. That's right. They, give me our Proverbs chapter 7, verse 9. No. They, no, verse 10. They're not dressing modestly, and because of that, a lot of brothers are going crazy acting up over that too. No. We have to hold ourselves accountable. That's right. That's how we change our community. Each one, teach one. Teach. The scripture tell you to hold yourself in a modestly way. That's right. Read it again. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 10. And behold, there met him a woman 
with the attire of an harlot. Now the scripture telling you that uh, they met him a woman with a attire of an harlot. What, what, what would that consider as today? A woman that dressed, dressed like a prostitute. How do they dress like? Very, yes, very provocatively. They showing you their goods so you can be interested. So you can want some. Bring it out. That's not a woman I want to bring home to my wife or to my parents. Right. That's a woman I want to just deal with as a side piece. Mm. A one time. Bring it out. That's not a woman of uh, what is, virtue. Right. If you need a, a pearl, how far do you have to go to find a pearl? Very far in the sea. Right. But if you want a, a shell, you can find a shell on the side of the Bring beach. Bring it out. Yeah. If you want a real woman, you got to dig deep to find that. The same thing with a uh, 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 diamond. Right. You want a diamond, you got to dig, dig deep in the uh, uh, earth. Break rocks to find diamond. Right. But if you want what? Rock? We, we find them all around. That's the same thing with a woman. A precious woman got to hold themselves precious. Right. They got to dress modestly because they don't want every eyes to be looking at them. Right. But when you're showing everything, that means you're easy. The whole world know about you. That's not what you want. But what does God want from you? My, 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 give, give me that. Because we here, at the same time, I want everybody to hear me. But I'm dealing with you too. Because if you know, then you can avoid some of those distractions that is around you. What you see around, that's nothing but distraction trying to get you to fall in, in the devil trap. Right. But if, you, if you're wise enough, you will see that. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? God is talking to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. He says, what does God require from you? Does he want you to live your life however you want to? Let's see if that's true. Hold on to that scripture. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. Yes. Does God want you to act however you want to? Or does he give you a choice to do the right thing? Right. The right thing is keeping God's commandment. Right. Right. Give me that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19. Read. And it reads, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. You hear that? God said, the Bible says, they, uh, Moses said, he called heaven and earth to record this day. What's being said here? Nothing that you hear here going to pass void. Everybody that hear this word, you are being marked. That's right. You don't repent, judgment will come to you. Right. Read it again. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Uh-huh. And that I have set before you life and death. Life and death is life in front of you. He's giving you the choice which way to go if you want to live. Right. Believe it or not, the Bible has two sets of form what he's saying. Spiritually living and uh 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 read it again. I have set before you life and death. Blessing and cursing. Okay, now it's giving you a choice. It says, I give you life, which is the the life of uh, heavenly, uh, the everlasting life. And then it gives you death if you don't follow what he's giving you. It says, I give you blessing. The blessing, what our forefather David and Solomon rejoice. And the curse is what we are uh, uh, going through today. When you're looking at us today, you see our people, we're in the worst condition ever. Our school system is garbage. Right. The, the so-called white people, they don't have what we're going through. They have good, good school system. Bring it they out. have good resources. When you go to our school, we can't afford books. We, we can't even have regular basic stuff we need for our classroom. Bring it out. And yet, we're acting like everything is good. Right. Everything is not good. Right. We'd rather come in the side road asking for money working for this is a different type of people man right and yet we are supposed to be the chosen people of the book our brothers and sisters used to have more uh self-esteem than we are today read that again the book of deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19 i call heaven and earth to record this day against you that i set before you life and death uh -huh. blessing and cursing uh-huh therefore Choose life. You see that? He says, therefore, choose life. It gives you the decision. He already made the decision for you. 
Why? Read. Therefore choose life, uh -huh. that both thou and thy seed may live. You and your children, give me Baruch 4 and 1. You and your children may live. God give you a choice. He says don't follow the rest of the people. Right. Majority of us is, is following foolishness. We're following EBT. We're following uh, uh, um, the mass media. We're following things that profited us nothing. Bring it up. Read it again. I mean, read that for me. The book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God uh -huh. and the law that endureth forever. Read. All they that keep it shall come to life. God says all they that keep these commandments, they will come to life. Why? You will have a sense of purpose. You will know that you are a king. You will know that you are God's chosen people. Right. God chooses you out of many. That, that is something that you should be prideful of. But guess what? We prefer to be in the bottom of society. Right. That is not profitable. Why do we, why do we agree to be in the bottom? Why can't we want more in life? Why do we want to be an a, a, a athlete? Why can't we want to be a doctor, a lawyer, something that you can bring back in your community? Right. Why do you want to be a dancer? Those things are not profitable to us, but bringing us down worse. Right. That's what we are here for, is to change you. That's you, right. you, you. So we can bring more things that may profit us in our community. Right. Our young men, what do we do? We're chasing young women. Why? Because that's what we saw on TV. Right. What does the Bible say? Give me that again in Deuteronomy 23, verse 17. This is what the Bible says. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, and verse 17. And it reads, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, uh -huh. nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Guess what? We have no shame. Our people is shameless. Bring it out. We don't care how people perceive us. All the nation are shaking their heads when they're looking at us. Right. They're quick to give you money so you can remain in the same condition. Right. Being the side of the road asking for money while you're dancing. Is that what you're worth? Is that what you're worth? Bring it out. We are a chosen people. Right. But we decide to look the lowest our, our, our people of the of the earth. That is not what we worth, man. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23 and verse 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Now let me ask you this. The fact that you hear this before, why holding you back from making a, a decision within yourself to be a better man for tomorrow? Because that, that change got to start now. What you waiting on? You're waiting on nothing. Let me show you this. Give me, uh, yeah, read that, read that. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You can't conform yourself with the way this world is going. And you can see this is not a good ending. You, with, with, with what's going on in the media right now, with those uh, 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 rumors of war, those things showing you that time is near. Right. Why should you want to play with life? Give, give me uh, Surah 5 and 7. Why should you want to uh, uh, play with life? The sooner you know, you got to take action, man. Because life is not given to you. Uh, uh, for You don't know how much time you have left. Every one of us have a different amount of grace left, man. While you still doing this, this, and this, and that, God probably still be merciful towards you, allowing you to still get a second chance to hear this word so you can change your, so you can change your life. And changing your life is not just for you, my brother. You change your life by you changing, you change somebody else's life because they're going to see you, oh, this is not the brother I knew. Right. Something different about this, brother. Let me talk to him, see what's going on. Read that for me. The book of Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach in the Apocalypse, chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. See what God says? What do, what do you think the word tarry mean? Yeah. Wait. He says, don't wait to come back to God. 
Read. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. It says, don't say I'm going to get right tomorrow. Believe it or not, this scripture I'm reading here is for all of us. Don't wait thinking you're going to get right tomorrow because tomorrow is not given. We don't know how much time we have left. Read. Or suddenly, any minute, any minute, it could be right now as we're speaking. Any minute what? What will happen? But suddenly, shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. You see that? Any minute God's judgment may come. You might be crossing the street, a car hates you. Or somebody starts shooting and a bullet come and hits you. You don't know how much time you have left, my brother. Meaning, yeah. the moment you know what God's required from you, you gotta start taking action. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.